Hello there, Robert Moody with Marine Max at the Dallas Yacht Center. Today, I'm aboard this gorgeous Azmet. It's a 2020 Azmet 50 Fly. Uh, just walked down the side of the boat. It's got beautiful lines on it. Uh, I love the mirrored glass on the side. It catches the reflection of the uh, blue skies up above. It really makes your boat stand out on different days, but also a little bit of privacy during the day nobody can see in. Um, back here on the swim platform, you can tell it's huge. You, this is, you can, it's a hydraulic swim platform. Uh, for us in North Texas, we're probably gonna lower it down and use it as our little private beach zone. Uh, you can also put a tender on there. So uh, you can go either way with it, but just a massive area to hang out on the back end of the boat, get it down in the water, low to the water, however you like it, uh, and let your family uh, enjoy uh, getting in and out of the water easily uh, on this huge aft swim platform. Let's step into the cockpit here. Very spacious cockpit. A um, lot of great wraparound seating. It's a C-section here. You got a gorgeous table. Uh, Asmint switched over and they switched to something different besides real marble. Real marble is, is beautiful, but it's more maintenance. If somebody spills anything, it stains. They switched to this material, which is synthetic. Used to be a bad word, and now it's not. It's actually more expensive than real marble, but it's uh, maintenance free. So for you and your family, eating back here, you don't have to worry about it. Uh, a lot of seating back here. Asmet, they send it with these two uh, lightweight, um, custom Italian-built uh, chairs. So now you can sit, you know, eight people around the cockpit, uh, uh, table to eat, have snacks, hang out and lounge. Great lounge seats if you want to. You can tell it's extra long. I like back here too when you are back here. They put a refrigeration pull-out tray so you have some drinks and snacks here. You don't have to go in to the uh, galley and salon uh, to get some food and snacks for the day. Uh, it's great. Again, entertaining in the cockpit. Let's go ahead and we have an ice maker uh, out here in the cockpit as well too. I like the convenient location of your battery switch, your house battery and engine batteries. You can lock the door, but when you step aboard the boat, turn the house battery on, boom, all your lights come on before you even uh, go through the sliding glass door. Something pretty cool that we ordered on this boat, and I'm gonna show you while we're still back here, crew quarters. So, if you need to hire a captain for the day, um, it's a totally separate, uh, it's a bigger than a twin, smaller than a queen, it's like a double down there. You have your own TV, your own air conditioner, your own head, your own sink, um, everything you need to go down there and take a nap and relax. You know, there are three staterooms on this boat, but sometimes you got uh, maybe another guest staying aboard, you need another place to sleep besides the sofa here. So, overflow sleeping for sure, or for captain or crew. Uh, great place. I'll tell you what, that room's gonna get nice, quiet, dark, and cold. So, a great place to really uh, sleep and take a nap. You can see we got great storage compartments throughout the whole boat back here. Remote control for the stereo when you're in the back here in the cockpit. Um, everything you need to have your family out here and really enjoy the boat. I like about this hard top, one, it's fixed, uh, but it, there's your shade. You don't have canvas bimini, so it's solid. It looks gorgeous. Uh, you got lights in it, your speakers in it, uh, but the shade, so uh, get you out of that summer heat. Beautiful sliding glass back door. Let's slide this thing open. It's heavy, it's solid, uh, it's made to go offshore. Let's walk into the salon here. Great wraparound seating. Um, you're gonna get a lot of people in here. I like the bench that's on the other side. So if you're having conversations, people can talk and face each other. We have a high-low TV that goes up and down. If you don't wanna watch the TV, hit a button, it drops down. Now you're looking at a beautiful view out these massive windows. You have drapes if you wanna close it off, a Bose surround sound stereo system in here. Massive windows on the other side. Uh, if you had enough heat and you want to come in and relax, watch a movie, watch a game, this is the spot to do it. I love what they did with this table. Right now, it's kind of how I'd use it during the day, right? So easy for people to hop in and out, set a drink, some snacks, whatnot. Uh, when it is time, you want to eat inside and not outside. Look, look at this. You can just uh, fold it right over. We go from being a cocktail table to a dining room table. Uh, look, everybody can sit around in here and eat at the same time. Again, for some more overflow sleeping, this is power. You can hit a button, this table will go down, a filler cushion on it. This can be another overflow bed for some uh, guests that uh, want to stay a night and go out in the water with you another day. Back on the back, you're going to notice uh, the Azmet 50 Fly, all of our Azmets. We're going to bring them in fully loaded. 
So they're gonna have uh, all the azimuth crystal in it. I got flatware, I have silverware. Everything is put away, solid and secure, so when you're underway, nothing's rattling. Everything has its place for a nice smooth voyage. We also ordered this TV with the audio video package on it, so uh, we're gonna have a great sound system on it. We're gonna have TVs in all the rooms, all the berths. Um, satellite TV and they each have their own box so you can change different stations. Let's move up here to the galley. We call this the galley up. The galley used to be down below but everybody kind of likes to be uh, where they can see out the windows so we kept a lot of big windows up here. Um, I love how clean this area is. You got two refrigerator slash freezer uh, drawers right here. So I have a refrigerator in the back deck, ice maker in the back deck, two refrigerator pull out trays here. A cooktop. This is a three in one. It's a microwave convection oven, a regular oven, uh, all in one unit there, which is nice. Again, we're still going to give you the beautiful azimuth flatware to go with your boat. Of course, you have sink, great storage. Everywhere azimuth can put storage in a boat, open up a compartment, uh, they're going to do it. You got a little trash can there, storage underneath the counters. Great storage here. You know, for the captain, maybe you want to keep binoculars, some other items there. Uh, maybe not in the galley, but for you as a captain. And speaking of a, a captain's, this is the lower helm station. This is a flybridge, so we got a duplicate upstairs, but uh, bad weather, drive it from down here. Um, this boat has the Volvo Penta D11 725 horsepower motors in it. It does have a bow thruster, uh, but instead of a separate bow thruster, we ordered the Volvo Penta joystick control. So it's gonna work shifting the engines for you and work on the thruster. So, on a day, uh, you want to move sideways away from the dock, all you have to do is activate uh, the joystick control and push it sideways. When you get away from the dock, uh, just push the sticks forward, you're driving it like you would any other boat you have. But two beautiful Raymarine screens, you're going to have navigation, radar, charts, fish finder, everything you want on it. Uh, all your engine information is going to be on my Volvo Penta display screen, but really streamlined uh, the whole dash. It just looks smooth, clean, easy to operate. Uh, push buttons here uh, for some common things you want to use a lot. Marine Max brings these boats in loaded, not only auto, audio visual, but also uh, bring it in with the Sea Keeper. So all the boats are going to have a Sea Keeper. So if you want to, you can spool that up. It takes about 20 minutes to get spooled up. And then once it's spooled up with a push of a button, you can stop all the rocking and rolling of your boat. So your boat stays stable even when you're anchored out in your favorite cove or beach uh, and the boat's rocking from the wind or other boats coming by. Not you and your boat. Everybody in your boat is nice and calm. So great spot here to, to uh, drive the boat. I got excellent visibility all the way around. This captain's chair is also power. It goes up and down, slide it forward and back. So a, a great lower helm station. Pretty cool, you got opening windows. If you nice day, you do want to cross breeze, the window by the galley is power. You can open these up, open the back door up, and uh, you can hear and talk to everybody, and also uh, you know get a breeze coming through on a nice pretty day. Look how big this bow area is on the Azimut 50 Fly. Um, really cool design you normally see on bigger yachts where you have a permanent sunbed in front of you. You got a pass through, walk through, and then permanent seating uh, here right in front of the windshield. So whether you want to sit down or lay down on this boat, um, you don't have to pick or choose. And the owner or the captain of the boat isn't having to convert sun lounges to seats. So I love this. Uh, I love this new Betaline material. Uh, it's made to be out in the sun and the weather and the elements, but it's really softer on you. Uh, it's more of a definitely a yacht feel instead of just regular vinyl that you see on a lot of sport boats. Um, really easy to walk around. I love, again, you can tell this bow shape that Azimut's doing, how wide it is up here. So when you're working your lines and working your windlass, um, plenty of room to move around. Azimut always overdoes their hardware too. This diameter of this handrail, it's easier to hold on to, but it's also stronger. And I got more points across there to make it stronger as well. Pretty cool, they even have a wash. So as you're bringing your anchor in, you can hit a button that's gonna spray water on it to clean off all that dirt and soot as you're bringing your line and chain in. So since they moved the galley up, I didn't want to put, Asma didn't want to put any cabinets up above blocking uh, these beautiful windows. So I love what they did down here and you're going to appreciate it too. They put the pantry down here on this lower step. Um, so you easily come down the stairs. They're going to have huge 
storage compartments. I still got some, uh, we're still putting the boat together, so but huge pantry there. You got storage here for food and snacks, same thing here. But look what they put up here, another refrigerator. So I got one on the back deck, two in the galley, and then an extra one down here in the pantry. And if you're on your boat for a while, I got a combination washer and dryer so you can wash your favorite outfit before y'all go to uh, dinner that evening. Let's make our way to the Ford VIP cabin. Beautiful boat. Um, you probably noticed when you saw the boat uh, from the outside up on the bow, um, we just don't go to a square pointy nose. Uh, we kind of keep it uh, uh, more squared off on the bow above the waterline to give us more headroom. So now you can tell this headboard in the Ford stateroom, it's not pinched off into a V where I got to kick the bed sideways. I can have a center line, wide bed. What does that mean? Well, it means somebody can get on and off the bed easily at night, in the middle of the night to go use the restroom, not having to climb over anybody. It also makes it easier just to make the beds. Asmund, I love their woodwork. So they have this nice curved radius. They want to make everything be smooth and round and like it's floating. I got a hang up locker on this side, easy to get to, storage everywhere. Got storage compartments up here beautiful big windows on the side and I really like the details of the um, round porthole lights. So it was actually open but uh, even in the heads in the staterooms you got these nice nautical round uh, windows. Speaking of storage I got to show you this because you're gonna come down to your boat and you're gonna have suitcases and bags and stuff. Look at the amount of storage underneath this bed and look how easy it is to get to it. Great spot when you walk in the boat to throw your suitcase or your duffel bag, your weekend clothes put it down out of the way. There's another um, storage closet on the other side, but let me show you this. So you have private access to the guest head from the VIP. Separate shower, so in the middle of the night, easy access for your guests to step right into the restroom. As we make our way out, and I call this the bunk room. So you got kids, another couple, something like that. Uh, you got two bunk beds, their own AC system. There's a own air conditioner controller in every single room so they can set the temperature to where they're comfortable. You got a huge hanging closet here. Uh, I would use that as my back storage, you know, for the owners too, if, if need be. Great storage compartment. They're right across from the hall. So they got a doorway there uh, right to the restrooms. This is what really makes the boat is this full beam master in the aft. Great headroom, easy to walk around, and I love being how close we are in the water. Imagine just sleeping in this bed in the morning, rolling over and looking out that beautiful water line, wherever you're gonna be anchored out. Absolutely gorgeous. They do a great job of pick, picking all the light fixtures for the boat. They can go in and get some kind of regular marine style lights but why not dress it up and that's what asthma does let's let's get some little bit better materials in here um, have designers come in and design the boats and actually pick the interiors for us huge hanging locker until i got a bunch of fenders in there it's a brand new boat we have we're just getting everything rigged out you got more storage electronics for your tvs here this is the master's private head and separate shower Well, this is what Asman is known for, their flybridge boats. And why? Because of so much room. On this 50-foot flybridge, there's more room and seating and great use of space up here than any other brand I think of. Um, it's absolute gorgeous. You're gonna see another table like we had in the cockpit up here again. How many people can I sit around here? Six or eight? You also have a sun lounge. So when you're the captain of the boat, the owner of the boat, and you're driving around, you're not by yourself. Somebody wants to lay out and get a little sun, they can do that while you're still talking to them. Uh, a beautiful helm. I would drive the boat up here as often as I could, depending upon the weather, because I have all the same gauges and controls and functions uh, out here um, in the sun and the fun. So awesome place to drive the boat. Great visibility using this joystick. It's easy for anybody to do. We can definitely teach you and show you how to do it. Um, but you're also underneath this gorgeous hardtop. You can open up the sunroof if you want to let some sun in, or if you want to let uh, you know see the stars at night. Easy to open up. We're going to step back here to the back. 
this again where Azimut really shines. Anybody can just put some wraparound seatings in here. But what they really wanted to do was to make a comfortable couch. And they kept that uh, beautiful style lines on it. It looks like it's floating. It's got nice curves to it like the rest of the boat. But we can sit here and face each other and have a conversation. Then I got another one of the tables too right here um, that uh, don't worry about people eating on it, spilling on it, having a good time relaxing on it. You don't have to stress out that they're ruining your stuff because that's a maintenance free tabletop and that's gorgeous. So you are gonna be entertaining up here. Look at this. Up here on the flybridge, I got a Kenya grill. Awesome, you can get a griddle on there too and cook that. You know everybody's familiar with those, they love them. Up here on the top, another refrigerator. So not only do I have four downstairs, I got a fifth refrigerator upstairs. You got a storage compartment here too. Beautiful, you can tuck it all out of the way. At the end of the day, it's out of sight. Beautiful boat. I'm Robert Moody with Marine Max Dallas Yacht Center. We're here at Lake Louisville up here 121 Marina. Uh, Wally Wells and I would love to have you come out here and take a tour of this boat, a private tour. You can call us and schedule and arrange it. Uh, we'll make sure the boat is prepped and ready for you. Um, if we not only do we have this Azimut 50 fly, but nationwide through Marine Max, we got the power to get any boat that you want, no matter where the boat is uh, nationwide in our inventory. Uh, whether it's a new Azimut, a Galleon, or a Sea Ray, we'd love to help you out. Give us a call and come see us. Thank you.